Good morning. Please don't yell, please. Are you all right? No. <laughs> Those fucking physicists. What happened? Thanks a lot for leaving me all alone with them. Where were your friends? My stupid friends left. It was only 11 o'clock. They all had to get home to pay their babysitter, big bread or something. I'm left alone with these lunatics. Why did you drink so much? I thought I'd keep up with them. I, I thought he'd stop. He didn't. Mm. Do you want some coffee? Mm, in a minute. That band. Yeah. But they were terrible. They were okay. They had fun, I think. As long as everyone had fun. Your dress turned out all right. I love it. You do? <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. I'm surprised you didn't wear it. I love it, Claire. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. You're in a good mood. Should I not be? Are you kidding? No. <laughs> I'm thrilled. Um, I'm leaving in a few hours. I know. The house is a wreck. Don't clean it up yourself. I'll hire someone to come in. Thanks. Do you want your coffee? Oh, um, no, thanks. It's I, a it's, hold on a sec, Katie. I just, I'm leaving soon. Okay, I know. I still like you to come to New York. Yes. January. Uh, I'd like to move to New York. Move? Would you think about it for me? Uh, you can stay with me and Mitch at first. There's plenty of room. Then you can get your own place. I, I already started on two apartments. Really cute places. I don't know, Claire. What would I do in New York? Uh, what are you doing here? I, I live here. You can do whatever you want. You can work, you can go to school. I don't know, Claire. This is... Pretty major. I realize that. I know you mean well. I am just not sure what I want to do. I, I mean, to be honest, you were right yesterday. I do feel a little confused. I'm, I'm tired. It's been a pretty weird couple of years. I think I'd like to take some time to figure things out. You can do that in New York. I could do it here. But it would be so much easier for me to get you set up in an apartment in New York and... I don't need an apartment. I'll stay in the house. Uh, uh, we're selling the house. What? Uh, uh, I'm selling it. When? I'm hoping to do the paperwork this week. No one was here looking at the place. Who are you selling it to? The university. They wanted the block for years. I live here. Honey, now that that's gone, it doesn't make sense. It's in a bad shape, because a fortune was made. Time to let it go. Mitch agrees. It's a very smart move, and we got a great offer. Where am I supposed to live? Come to New York. I can't believe this. It'll be so good. You deserve a change. This will be a whole new adventure for you. Why are you doing this? I want to help. By kicking me out of my house? It was my house too. You haven't lived here for years. I know, you, you were on your own. I, I really regret that, Katie. Don't. I, I know I let you down. I feel awful about it. Now I'm trying to help. You want to help now? Yes. Dad is dead. He's dead? And now that he's dead, you applying for the weekend and decide you want to help? You're late. Where have you been? I, I, Where were you five years ago? You weren't helping then. I was working. I was here. I lived with him alone. I was working 14 hour days. I paid every bill here. I paid off the mortgage of a three bedroom house when I was living in a studio in Brooklyn. You had your life. 
You got to finish school. You could have stayed in school. How? I told you I wouldn't done anything. I told you a million times to do anything you wanted. What about that? Someone had to take care of him. He was ill. He should have been in a full-time professional care situation. He didn't belong in the nut house. He might have been better off. How can you say that? This is where I'm meant to feel guilty, right? Sure, go for it. Yeah, I'm heartless. My own father he needed to be here in his own house, near the university, near his students, near everything that makes him happy. Maybe some mm. real professional care wouldn't have any more good than rattling around a filthy house with you looking after him. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Katie, it's not, it's not your fault. It's, it's my fault for letting you do it. I was right to keep him here. No. What about his formation? Four years ago, he, he was healthy for almost a year. And then it went right downhill again. He might have been worse in a hospital. He might have been better. Did he do any work again? No. No. And you might have been better. Better than what? Living here with him alone didn't do you any good. You said it yourself. You have so much talent. You think I am like that? I think you have some of his talent and some of his tendency toward instability. Claire, in addition to the cute apartments that you've scouted for me in New York, have you also considered some of your energies towards scouting another type of living no. facility for your bug house little Absolutely sister. not. This is not what this is about. Don't lie to me, Claire. I'm smarter than you. The resources, I, I investigated. Oh the, my God. Uh, uh, all I'm saying is that the people and the doctors in New York are the best. Fuck you. You wouldn't live anywhere. It would be completely up to you. I hate you. Please don't yell. 